Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia. Hopefully you guys are having a great day wherever you guys are. Hey, this is our afternoon update, guys. I just thought I would uh, jump in and say, hey, you know, good news, I'm buying more Doge. I'm buying. Why? Why am I buying? Well, the reason I'm buying, guys, is because, as I said earlier, the second wave is about to start right now. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. The second wave is coming. It's going to be here. We're also going to talk about uh, AMC. AMC just uh, declared that they're going to be... Uh, uh, except Bitcoin for payment for movie tickets. That's really good. This is really a phenomenal news. This is huge news. This is, you know, widespread adoption of Bitcoin. You guys all know that uh, Bitcoin is, is really not the best coin to be used for payment. So hopefully this will uh, not only have be a catalyst for AMC to accept Bitcoin, but maybe also Dogecoin is going to be coming soon, guys. Also, too, we're going to look at, uh, we're going to jump into uh, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz has about a, a three-minute uh, clip on YouTube, I mean, on uh, Twitter, and we're going to talk about that. We're going to show you that clip. I'm going to tell you what I think about it. And Ted, Ted, Ted Cruz is really right now the cryptocurrency hero right now. He's fighting, he's fighting hard for us. You know, who knows? Maybe Ted Cruz for president, or at least Ted Cruz for vice president in 2000. 24. I'd vote. I don't know. What do you guys think? Send me your comments. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's first uh, remember, no, this is financial advice. This is only the OG expressing his opinion. And I'm doing it here. And remember, I work for you. I'm working for you. Morning to night, I'm working for you to bring you the news, to bring you the updates, not only about Dogecoin, not only about Bitcoin, but everything related to the world of crypto. So I want to just get be in it to win it, and I want you to win, and I want you to be on this fantastic journey for with with me as well, guys. So with that being said, remember, none of this is financial advice. This is just the OG in the house expressing his opinion. This is for educational purposes only. You guys know that. You guys knew that. And remember, watch out for nasty cameras in the contents. Sometimes they pretend to be me, but they're not me, guys. So. Let's do it. It's a glorious day. It's a, uh, uh, you know, uh, 32 days, 34 days on lockdown, guys. Woo! So I'm just sitting outside on the on the veranda here and uh, watching the world go by. So if you see some people walking by, because that's what people do. All right, guys. So let's jump into it right now. Woo! So right now we can see that uh, Bitcoin right now is uh, trading at $43,320. Uh, it's pretty much unchanged. We're seeing that uh, we're seeing that Bitcoin right now and the other uh, coins pretty much range bound today. We're probably going to see this today. Like I said, a lot of people are sitting on the sidelines waiting for CPI data and waiting for how this whole infrastructure bill uh, pans out, guys. So we need to just kind of sit tight, wait, relax, don't panic. We're going to get there together. All right, guys. So. That's being said, where do I see uh, Bitcoin going? Definitely we're going to be hitting $50,000 very shortly. I mean, if you guys think about it, we're only like, a, we're, we're under $4,000. We're like $4,700, sorry, $3,700 away from $50,000. So it's going to be a big milestone. You can also see that the uh, Wyckoff pattern is playing out exactly, exactly as predicted. Expect, boom, a big explosion to happen really soon. It's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time before we hit 50,000. We're really close, guys. We're really, really close. Look, we're super close to 50,000. We're just just a touch away. And, and remember, $3,700, $5,000 move for, for, for Bitcoin is nothing, guys, in the whole uh, realm of things. We're definitely going to be hitting 60,000. We're going to be uh, in price discovery mode. I think maybe end of August we'll be in price discovery mode. You know it. I know it. Let's do it, guys. So let's look at Ethereum right now. As I said, Ethereum is trading at 3,115. It's uh, well above my $3,000 support line. Uh, and I think we're, I think similar to Bitcoin, we're going to see, uh, particularly here in Asia, things are going to be uh, range bound. Uh, we may have a blast off uh, in in America, it, let's let's just see. It depends on how 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 the markets react to the CPI data and how this whole infrastructure uh, crypto tax thing comes out. We're going to be jumping into that in a second, guys. So. So far, just you guys have to kind of take a holding pattern right now. Nothing's really going to happen with crypto. Everything's kind of hold, 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 you know. So don't panic, guys. It's really going to be. So let's look at the doge, doge in the house. Ooh, that's a doge. So right now, the Ethereum burn is at uh, 20,442. Amazing, guys. This whole EIP 1559 is the best thing that could happen to uh, Ethereum in a very long time. And we can see that the Ethereum emissions are starting to come down. And, and a fun fact is that OpenCIO, they are the place that burns the most amount of uh, Ethereum because of all the NFT transactions that are going on. All right, let's look at my Doji Doge. Right now, Doji is still about 25 cents. That's super healthy, guys. 
I am buying more Doge because I know that by the end of this week, definitely by the 15th of uh, August, we're going to be hitting 30 cents. And if not by the 15th of August, definitely by the end of August, we're going to be hitting 40 cents. And then September, October, November, that's when you're going to see all the crypto space absolutely fly to the moon, going to the moon, guys. Rocket ride. I can smell the rocket fuel. I can smell it. You know, and guys, I'm lying. I lined up already. I got my tickets to go to the moon. Doge, Doge going to the moon. And remember, in April next year, we got the Doge one SpaceX, and that's gonna that's gonna absolutely catapult the Doge price to the moon, guys. So if we if we think about uh, you know December hitting one dollar, December uh, December January February March April, four months later, we could see a dollar fifty coming in for Doge once the SpaceX things launch. So there's gonna be you know a huge a huge price spike uh, as we get closer to April, guys. That's absolutely incoming. That's another reason why I'm buying Doge right now because I anticipate that we're definitely gonna be hitting one dollar in December. December, and we could go in April next year at $1.50. I'm so bullish on that, guys. So without th further delay, let's talk about this crypto bill, th this crypto tax, the infrastructure bill, and let's listen to what uh, Ted Cruz has to say about it. And he's really calling out all the senators on the floor. He's he's really he's really going to town, guys. He's, t he's t saying, basically, how can the senators vote, have a voice, or pass a bill when they have no idea not one iota of what this thing all means so let's listen to what ted cruz has to say mr president unfortunately we just saw the senator from vermont object to a compromise solution negotiated by senator toomey and senator lummis that would have mitigated some of the harm from the devastating new regulations on cryptocurrency in this so-called infrastructure bill because the senator from Vermont raised that objection. The status quo right now is these new regulations are going into effect and billions of dollars of value are going to be destroyed. So what, what, what Ted Cruz is saying is that we have objection and the senator who objection absolutely has nothing, has no idea what crypto is. And, further, and furthermore, if this objection is raised and the, the bill goes through as is, we're going to see millions and millions of dollars flow out of the U.S. and innovation go down. Let's listen more. Right now today, about 106 million people are using cryptocurrencies around the world, according to at least one recent report. The average annual income in the United States for a blockchain developer is $136,000. That represents a steady career, a good income for someone to own a home, to raise a family, to live, live a good and comfortable life. And Texas is helping lead the way. Texas is taking the lead this past year as a major hub for cryptocurrency businesses and is even being hailed as the cryptocurrency capital. But all of this is under threat. Regulatory uncertainty is now, as you know, Texas has been one of the foremost promoters promoters and been <clears throat> been promoting cryptocurrency. And Texas is even trying to get the miners from China to come to Texas to actually uh, set up their mining. They're giving them tax breaks. They're giving them incentives. So this whole bill is going to actually kill this whole industry for Texas, which means jobs for Texans, which means money for Texans, it means tax for Texans. You know, as he said, a blockchain developer is going to make over $130,000, perfect income to raise a family. And remember, if you're making $130,000, you're going to get taxed on that. So this is, has far-reaching implications, guys. It's the number one barrier to blockchain adoption, according to 48% of respondents in a recent report. And they're right to be worried. The current bill widens the definition of broker. Those who would have to collect information on cryptocurrency cons consumers and report this information to the IRS. It would force every single participant in the cryptocurrency structure to operate as a financial institution, which would mean they would have to provide consumer information to the IRS, even if they don't have access to that information. Exactly. Ted Cruz hit it right on the nail. With this broad definition of broker, it includes everybody. And node operators, miners, DeFi play, they don't even have access 
to who their customers are. They don't even know who their customers are because they're using anonymous wallets. So for them to collect all of the KYC, know your customer data for a tax department, it's impossible, guys. So Ted nailed it right on the nose. This whole uh, definition of the broker, it just doesn't make sense. It's not workable. It's not plausible. It's completely insane. It's completely crazy. This overly broad definition of the word broker will block rapid innovation in cryptocurrencies and it will endanger the privacy of many Americans in cryptocurrencies. This is wrong. So I applaud my colleagues for trying to find an incremental approach, unfortunately, because the senator from Vermont objected, that incremental approach hasn't been adopted. So let's exercise a brief, shining moment of common sense. And let's recognize if we've gathered all 100 senators in this chamber and ask them to stand up and articulate two sentences defining what in the hell a cryptocurrency is that you would not get greater than five who could answer that question. Ted is exactly right. What he's saying is that we have most of the senators who are voting on a bill, instrumental in creating a bill, but they have absolutely no knowledge, no idea of the crypto space. How insane is that? That you have, you have this tax bill being implemented <clears throat> and passed and voted on by people who have no idea. It's just, it's just mind-boggling, guys. We love you, Ted. Hashtag, we love Ted Cruz. Given that reality, the barest exercise of prudence would say we shouldn't regulate something we don't yet understand. We should actually take the time to try to understand it. We should hold some hearings. We should consider the consequences. We shouldn't destroy people's lives and livelihoods from complete ignorance. My amendment's very simple. It doesn't add anything new to this bill. It just strikes these provisions. It says, look, let's not do this till we know what we're talking about. Let's be... Exactly. What Ted is calling for is an inquiry. He's, in, he's, he's asking for a fact check. He's asking for the senators to sit down and understand the space, understand the ramifications, understand exactly what it is that they're doing. To plot a course, a logical course, a course based on facts, based on, you know, not assumptions and false narratives, we, we need to have a hearing, congressional hearing, a Senate hearing to discuss the implications and fact check. We need to invite blockchain experts. We need to invite leaders in cryptocurrency to come down, sit down, and talk to the politicians, talk to the government, so they absolutely understand what this is all about. Because you just have people who don't know left from right, up and down, when it comes to cryptocurrency. Be cautious. Let's be reasonable. Let's not be the number one economic developer for the Communist Party of China by sending cryptocurrencies overseas to our competitors because we've made it impossible for them to succeed here. This is so important. This is about national security. If this bill is passed the way it is, it means that the innovation will go offshore to our competitors like China. And we're going to have crypto winter here. We're going to have crypto winter in America. This, is, this bill is bad. Accordingly, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that, that, that notwithstanding adoption of substitute amendment number 2137, that the Cruz amendment number 2466 be agreed to. Is there objection? So, as you guys can see, amazing, 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 amazing support by Ted Cruz. You know, Ted, Ted is absolutely our hero right now. We love Ted. We love him. Thank you, Ted, for standing up for all the cryptocurrency people in the world. But as you guys can see, we have an amendment that's going to get passed by people who have no idea what's going on. Let's jump into the news, guys. Let's jump into the news and news. So right now we can see that uh, Venezuela authorities have just shut down power supply to Bitcoin miners in the key state. This is, and nobody knows why. So regional authorities in one of the key states in, in uh, the country have suspended the power supply of all registered miners. And this is not illegal mine. This is registered miners and effectively shutting down their operations. While there have no been no official explanation, but I think this is, has to do with something, something with, uh, you know, volcano mining, this and that. 
Uh, let's see what it's all about. But this is just a weird one. I don't know why they're shutting this down. There must be a hidden agenda. If anything comes out or anything pops up about this, I will tell you. I'll get I'll get to you on this. So the huge, huge big news is that we have AMC plans to accept Bitcoin. I talked about the intro. This is huge news because not only is it, it it's like it's huge, guys, because you know AMC accepting Bitcoin it's just a gateway into other cryptocurrencies Dogecoin uh, Bitcoin Cash all of these other coins are actually going to be uh, soon accepted by AMC I'm sure of it uh, I'm sure that either Doge Dogecoin and Bitcoin Cash are going to be the next ones because you know if you look at Doge the transaction speed the transaction fees are very, very low you know paying with Bitcoin uh, it's complicated because the fees are high, the speeds are low. I mean, you could be, uh, you know, lining up to go to a cinema, waiting to pay for your tickets, and you could wait 15, 20 minutes while the blockchain clears your uh, transaction. So it's, I mean, yeah, it's it sounds good, but in 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 practical theory, it's not workable. So they're going to have to come up with another solution, and I think Doge is the obvious solution for that. So I'm really bullish, guys. So once again, I just can't believe that this this bill is maybe get passed in its entirety. It's bad for crypto. It's bad for the U.S. You know, what's going to happen if it gets passed? You're going to see that crypto in the U.S. will ramp down. They're going to move offshore, and uh, you know, within one or two months, it'll all be forgotten about. But It'll be a crypto winter, and 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 you know, basically, uh, America will be like the North Korea for crypto. Nobody will want to go there. No crypto innovation will happen in America. It'll be completely cut off from the rest of the world. It's not good for all of us, guys. So let's jump into the markets right now. Let's jump into the market marks and I'll let you go on this mean lunchtime update. So let me give that minty fresh, minty fresh. So yeah, right now Bitcoin is still at 45,651 and that's up almost 5%. Ethereum is at 3,106. That's up 5.28%, guys. Woo! So we're doing really good, guys. BNB is at, uh, up uh, $351 and that's up uh, almost 3.5%. And, a half percent. and uh, ADA is up $1.00 is one dollar and forty six cents, and uh, and uh, that's uh, that's uh, up almost three percent, guys. And Doge is at twenty five cents, and it's up four percent. So Doge is looking. I'm I am absolutely buying more Doge, doing it right now today because I know that if we look at the Doge price right now and where it is, Doge is absolutely going to explode. Right now, Doge is. You know, Doge is going to explode. We're going to see ourselves going uh, range bound for a while, and then we're going to see an explosive, explosive uh, takeoff, guys. So that being said, guys, don't forget to go back, check out my links, support the channel, uh, go check out Zen Music, guys. Check, 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 check out Zen Music. Uh, if you want relaxing music, go there, and uh, you know, become a Patreon member, buy the channel of coffee, guys. Woo! And don't forget, go to my shop, check out my merch. We got merchy merch. We got. We got cups, we got hoodies, we got t-shirts, we got bags. It's amazing, guys. So, just want to say, God bless all of you. Don't forget to smash the likes. Subscribe right now. Do it now. You know you want it. And remember, let's support Ted Cruz. Go to Ted Cruz's Twitter. Send him a message. Thumbs up. Give a heart mark. Tell Ted Cruz that we're behind him 1%. And who knows? Ted Cruz for president or even Donald Trump for president, Ted Cruz for VP. I'd vote for him. Okay, guys, I'm out of here. God bless you all. Take care. See you in the next one.